something you can share. Eric Zarnitz really was the trendsetter today. He's the one who got us talking about these sunflowers because he went out and did the story earlier and he took some selfies and that got the ball rolling there. Great Kevin. fun, great fun. But I tell you what, today was one of those days you would you look for any reason to get out of the office and right. do something outdoors. And you know what? I wish I could say the next couple of days were going to be of that course. way, but. It's not going to change not around gonna happen, here. Right? It's about to be August. It's going to be hot and it's going to be humid the next couple of days. And we're going to see the return of pop up downpours as well. So it's relatively quiet tonight. You don't have to worry about anything overnight or as you head out the door. First thing on your Tuesday. So tomorrow afternoon, though, I do think at least a couple of pop up hit and miss downpours are going to develop during the heat of the afternoon. This is going to continue over the next couple of days. Rain chances will build through the middle of the week before we dry out for what should be another fantastic weekend. Right now it's a muggy night or at least increasingly humid anyway. Temperatures generally in the middle to upper 60s, 70 as you get closer to the metro, still in the mid 70s here in the heart of the city tonight. So it's going to be a little bit warmer for those of us in the urban areas versus a little more rural locations. Now dew points have been gradually creeping their way up. We're in the low to mid 60s right now, so it is still quite tolerable out. However, that's going to change in the days ahead. We're going to go from tolerable more towards muggy. I I don't think we quite get too oppressive, but it's going to become a lot more uncomfortable out and you'll see that here on the sweat index. So tomorrow's not going to be a bad day either, although I do think much like this evening, you'll kind of start to notice it a little bit, but really the worst days Wednesday and Thursday before we get more comfortable air in here just in time for your weekend. So tonight we're holding at 76 right now. We've got a little bit of a easterly wind at the moment. High pressures in charge of our weather. This high is going to head off towards the east. Uh, we won't have a real focal mechanism for showers or storms over the next couple of days, so they really are going to be hit and miss. That is until it looks like probably late Thursday, Friday, there's a cold front in the Dakotas. So that's going to come our way, and behind that, some very comfortable air for the weekend. So until then, tonight, not bad. Mid-60s for most of us, maybe low 60s out towards Peebles, down to 64 in Hillsborough, Hamilton about 66, 68 in Florence, and then highs tomorrow about where they were today, but just a smidge bit more humid will climb into the mid 80s and will reintroduce the threat for at least a few pop up storms during the afternoon and evening hours. You'll see them here after lunchtime tomorrow. A few of them will go up late into the evening. Not a lot of action. I don't think there's a lot of rain tomorrow, but better rain chances. We'll get in here on Wednesday with a little more heat, higher humidity levels. I think we'll all probably see some rain on Wednesday and then on Thursday as well. Quick check on the tropics tonight. We've got ourselves what's left of Emily. It's a tropical depression right now heading towards Fort Pierce. Eventually it's going to emerge back over the open waters of the Gulf of Mexico and become a tropical storm once again. The good news though, as it parallels the east coast, eventually it's going to start pulling farther and farther out and should eventually just become a fish storm. So after it departs Florida, I don't think we really have much to worry about. Don't worry much about the weather around here tonight either. 65 for your overnight low and then for tomorrow, warm sunshine. Small chance for a pop up storm will top out around 85. Here's your day planner close to 80 by lunchtime after starting out in the 60s, low to mid 80s for highs again tomorrow. Here's your seven day forecast. While we do see the return of humidity the next couple of days, you know we're about to head into the month of August here. And Mike, I don't see any intense summer heat. By that, I mean no 90s in this seven day. That's pretty rare this time of the year. And I think we can attribute some of that to the fact we'll get more rain in here Wednesday and Thursday. Some pleasant final days for the kids before back to school.